Oh my goodness, I mean, such a scammer. Such a scammer. I can't even believe that they're allowing this to happen right now. I mean, this story is wild, okay? That is the most shocking thing that I've heard yet, you know? All right, so I have quite the story for you today, and it comes from the New York Post, and it says, can an alleged arsonist escape eviction under New York COVID laws? So basically this guy has been lighting fires in the apartment that he lives in and the landlord is having trouble evicting him because of the coronavirus laws and eviction moratorium that's been put in place in New York City. So quite a crazy story, but let's get into this article. An accused arsonist who allegedly twice set fire to his luxury Midtown apartment is trying to use Governor Cuomo's new pandemic rules to dodge eviction, his landlord claims. The alleged firebug has left residents in the 37-story high-rise in constant fear for their lives, according to court papers filed by the landlord, who has been trying to oust him for months. So this isn't just a regular apartment either. This is a luxury tower. And this guy, for some reason, has been lighting fires in there and putting the lives of other people at danger. And it looks like the landlord just wants this guy out. But unfortunately, the eviction moratorium, it was put in place and it didn't even take into consideration cases like this, where these people, some tenants are danger to the other people living in the building. And this landlord is having trouble removing this tenant because these tenant protections are so strong. That's completely out of line and ridiculous and, you know, it just doesn't make much sense. But when faced with an eviction notice, after allegedly causing $3.5 million in damage to the West 59th Street building, Christian Ledan filed a form claiming he'd had financial hardship because of COVID-19. Yeah, the only requirement that a lot of these places are requiring uh, in order to get protections for from the eviction moratorium is to file one little simple paper form and the problem with that is you don't have to prove anything you know you don't have to prove you lost your job you don't have to prove that you're facing financial hardship you don't have to prove anything you could just file that and then get free rent and you can't be evicted no matter what in some places at least and new york looks to be one of those places the COVID-19 hardship declaration forms are part of new rules signed into law by Governor Cuomo in December. Most tenants who file the form have their evictions paused for weeks. Christian Ledan pays just $1,117 monthly for a one-bedroom apartment at one waterline tower square under affordable housing rules. Market rate one-bedrooms in the building go for nearly $6,000 a month. So it looks like this guy is in some sort of low... Uh, income or affordable housing inside this luxury tower. So you got people in there paying six grand a month and then this guy, he's staying for a super duper low cost, causing problems, you know, uh, scaring people to death who paid for the to live in this luxury tower. And I do have a picture of the luxury tower and I'll throw it up on the screen so that you can see what it looks like. But you know, it, it doesn't matter if the place is just a cheap apartment either. I mean, the other tenants don't deserve to have their lives put into danger by just one bad tenant. After weeks of erratic and paranoid behavior that included Ledan, 48, screaming and cursing at people in the lobby and claiming he was being hacked, watched in the shower and monitored by the FBI, he allegedly set fire to cardboard boxes in his kitchen around 4.30 a.m. The voices in his head told him to do so, according to a fire marshal's report and court papers. Wow, I mean, this guy, he sounds like he has serious, serious mental health issues. And, you know, this landlord really just needs to get this guy out of there before he does irreparable damage to the building or someone loses their life, okay? I mean, when I talk about the eviction moratorium being bad for both landlords and tenants, this is exactly what I mean. Nervous about keeping the fire inside, he dragged the burning materials into the hall where authorities found a pyre, according to a criminal complaint charging Ledan with second degree arson. The FDNY was forced to break open Ledan's door and drag him out, the landlord said in legal papers. No one was hurt in, July, in the July blaze, but that was by a thin stroke of luck, landlord RCB3 Affordable LLC claims.
And they do have some pictures in here of the fire damage and water damage that was caused by them putting out this fire. And wow, I mean, oh man. I mean, what can I say? What can I really say other than they really need to get rid of this guy, okay? And I've heard of eviction moratoriums. I actually did a video about the Washington DC law saying that even violent tenants can't be evicted. I mean, this is another case here in New York where a tenant who possibly violent, you know, very destructive can't be evicted. And, you know, they want to push things to the most ridiculous ends with no exceptions. And this is what happens. At the time, Housing courts were closed due to Cuomo's eviction moratorium, and a source said the pandemic delayed a fire marshal report on the incident. By the time Ladan was arrested in September, he claimed to have no memory of the fire. <laughs> oh my goodness. With the ongoing criminal case not scheduled to be heard until May 10th, RCB3 Affordable Vice President John Gagnier begged for help in court papers pleading, This situation cannot continue. And he's right. I mean, he needs help from the state telling him that he can get rid of this tenant. I mean, I know that unlawful eviction is, you know, it's unlawful, but man, he just, I mean, he needs to get his company and just get rid of this guy, regardless of the eviction laws. I mean, this is a public safety issue. This guy cannot continue to stay in this building and put the lives of the other tenants in danger, put the building itself, this huge luxury tower into danger. At least one fearful neighbor broke their lease and moved, and another tenant voiced concern Ladan would kill us all. Wow, that is uh, quite strong language. He's afraid that this guy would kill them all. Wow. According to the court filing, the fire and water damage damaged all seven elevators and common areas, the landlord claims in court papers seeking to boot Ladan. RCB3 Affordable notified the fiery tenant in February his lease would be terminated. On March 15th, Ladan filed the COVID-19 hardship declaration form. So, yeah, he's obviously just using the hardship declaration form as a protection to prevent himself from being evicted, even though the truth is he knows he started the fire. I mean, he's mentally ill. He might not know he started the fire, but everyone else knows that this guy started the fire. This guy is a danger and nobody wants this guy in the building. Okay. So they should in, in, in a normal world, be able to get rid of this kind of person. But unfortunately in our current times and with the way that the government has you know, intervened and prevented the, the regular process from occurring, it's just not going to happen right now. Two days later, after he filed the declaration form, Ladan set another fire, this time in his closet, according to the landlord's lawsuit, which claims building workers found smoke pouring from Ladan's door, which was propped open with a laptop. The cause of the fire was under investigation, the FDNY said. A second fire, really? I mean, come on, come on, okay? If I was one of the neighbors, I would go over there and throw his butt out immediately. <laughs> I'm like, no, you're not going to kill me and my family. You know, I'll beat the crap out of you. I'll throw you out myself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ladan's claims of financial hardship is bunk, asserts the landlord, who notes in the litigation that the entirety of Ladan's rent has been paid for not by him, but with a subsidy. So the guy can't, doesn't even pay his own rent. He is under Section 8, and he's claiming financial hardship? Oh, my goodness. I mean, such a scammer. Such a scammer. I can't even believe that they're allowing this to happen right now. I mean, this story is wild, okay? That is the most shocking thing that I've heard yet. You know, the guy doesn't even pay the rent, and he's filing for eviction protections for the eviction. Oh, my goodness. I'm at a loss for words. I'm at a loss for words. Okay. <sighs> RCB3 Affordable has barred Ladan from the building for now and says costs from both fires now to total more than $4 million. The landlord wants a judge to deem 
Ladan an exception under the new rules and his behavior grounds for his immediate ejection.